here's the thing. It's really important for us as baristas to know how we affect this coffee so that we can make it taste good for you. I mean, the simple way of putting it is we know all of this stuff so that you don't have to. Any brew method has to be taken care of, has to be done right to produce the ideal cup. Balance is the most important factor in what people are trying to achieve when they brew coffee. There are a number of variables that affect extraction. The amount of coffee and water that you use, the amount of time that coffee and water are in contact, size of coffee particles, turbulence, agitation, and the temperature of the water are all factors in how much is extracted from the coffee. The wrong level of any of those can lead to over-extraction or under-extraction. So what you do is you grind up the beans into small particles so that the water can get in and get back out again quickly. But there's also the evenness of the grind. Uh, largely what you're trying to do is get as even a particle size as possible. If you have big particles and very small particles, then the small ones are going to extract really quickly, and some of those unpleasant, bitter, astringent things are going to start coming out while you're still waiting for the larger particles to release their good stuff. So here we have five different ways to brew coffees. We have them set up in this order roughly as a spectrum from uh, most body to most clarity in the cup. Clarity we think of as the ability to differentiate between different flavors. And um, body, we're thinking about how that coffee feels in your mouth and texture of it. And usually with brewed coffee, in fact, almost all the time with brewed coffee, you get one at the expense of the other. Yeah, so you can usually have either clarity or body, but not both. So uh, the siphon offers a really great compromise, gives you the best of both worlds, great body, but also great clarity of flavor. The Chemex is gonna focus on clarity also a nice expression of acid. The Kalita Wave is also going to give you great clarity in the cup and it's going to lead to a very balanced expression of the coffee. The Wood Neck is going to give you great body but at the cost of some flavor clarity. Uh, last we have the Aeropress which is going to give you a nice body and with the use of a paper filter a little bit more clarity than we normally would get. So if you use a paper filter, which has very, very fine pores, then essentially you screen out all the particles from the bean, and what you're left with is just the water-soluble stuff, which means that it's relatively stable. If you can keep it warm, it will keep its flavor pretty well. If you use a, a metal filter, a, a gold-plated filter, the pore size is much bigger, and so you do end up with little particles of the coffee bean ending up in your coffee, those little particles continue to extract. And so that means that that cup is going to get a little bit less pleasant with time. And so it's probably better to drink it sooner rather than later. We do take it seriously, but we also want it to be really accessible. Ultimately, we just want you to have a good cup of coffee.